Folks, were, were those really the Browns last Thursday? The Rizzo Show starts now. The Hard Rock Roxino Northfield Park presents The Rizzo Show. And now your host, Tony Rizzo, with co-host Mike Polk Jr. Yeah, yeah. Hey now. Woo. Michael, welcome everyone to the 1 and 0 edition of The Rizzo Show. <laughs> Mike Polk Jr. and myself. Michael, did you have a great weekend, and are you still buzzing from that big Browns game? I'm feeling it. How about you? They, they I, look like a legitimate I, squad. There okay, all right. Let me, let me just say this. Everybody take a deep breath. Right. The Giants coach was Pat Shermer, and they didn't game plan for us, so just relax. But, Mike, I, I, we talked about this. After 1-31, and 31, I feel like everybody was ready to enjoy what we saw on Thursday night, which was a real professional football team. It was. And, uh, you know, of course, you have to remind yourself, we did go 4-0 uh, in the preseason last year, which is also very odd because the only other team to go 0-16 or go 0 and 16 in a season was the Lions. They and also they went 4-0 and in the preseason. But even last year during the preseason when we were winning those games, we were on that when we were just crushing it like that, it didn't feel like this preseason game. This, right. this looked like a competent football team. This looked like decent quarterback play. And right. I'm not getting carried away. Of course, it's one game. But that doesn't mean we can't enjoy it. That's right. Tyrod Taylor showed why he is the starting quarterback, folks. 5 of 5, 99 yards, and a touchdown on his drive. He's the best quarterback we've seen since. Yeah, I don't even know. I guess Kelly Holcomb? I don't know. Maybe that Derek Anderson freak year. Uh, but yeah, that's, 2007. But look at these passes he's making here. I mean, it's, this looks, it's so weird to see competent quarterback play in, in a brown and orange uniform, isn't it? Yeah, and I think also, Mike, the, the receivers benefit from this. You know, we really don't know how good our receivers are. That's what they call a back shoulder throw, folks. Right. Where the, the running back and the, uh, wide receiver and DB are running at the same time. That's a great throw to Njoku, got in the end zone. That back shoulder throw, everybody does it in the NFL except us. Right. Now, finally, we're going to start doing things. I think Todd Haley played a big part in that game. And you know what else? The I new like, offensive quarter. Right. And you know what else I like to see is those those catches from Joku and um, Hollywood Higgins. Um, those guys are actually, th these are the players who were on the team last year and didn't look like this. They, it opens up the whole field when you've got somebody like Jarvis Landry lined up on the other side. You have to pay attention to him. And you've got decent quarterbacks now. And you can see it makes all the difference. All right. The highly anticipated debut of Baker Mayfield did not disappoint. Mike, do the Browns actually have two? Good quarterbacks. Uh, it's too early to say that. We know from last year we actually have our starting quarterback is, is was good. He's got a winning record, which is new for us. Uh, and as far as Baker, he looked in control. D didn't you think so? Excellent footwork. Look at him step up in the pocket there. And his arm, what did we say from training camp? Remember? Right. His arm is underrated. That kid threw some unreal passes. He used his feet only when he had to. Right. He got out of bounds. I thought he looked terrific. Everybody I talked to, the national guys told me, that's as good a debut for a rookie sure. quarterback as they've seen in a long time. He just He did not look it did not look too big for him. It did not look too fast for him. He looked smart. I love the way he was getting out of bounds, but getting the yardage he needed for the first down stuff. I mean, the dude looked like a pro, and I love watching him bark out at his players, and they listen to him. You saw that in training camp. That's important, you know? I mean, nobody was, nobody was listening to Deshaun Kaiser when he's like, all right, guys, huddle up. That, that just wasn't happening. Yeah. He's, he's got something. you got to give him that. He's a leader. Yep. And the, we, they talked about Baker's intangibles. Folks, team got in and out of the huddle. They had 16 seconds on the play clock when they got to the line as a Browns yeah. fan. We were like, what, <laughs> Isn't that nuts? God, what the heck Just is to be impressed by that. Why are we impressed <laughs> by that? Because we're Browns fans. Oh, okay. Mike, did you agree with the Browns playing rookie ride receiver Antonio Callaway after his traffic stop? last week. I think, yeah, absolutely. I think that we just saw um, what, what he just did was make a great defense for himself to the Browns to say, defend me on this one. It's worth getting me on the field, you know, because this guy, he looks like a pro out there. You can see the, what, how he might have been a steal in the fourth round. I know he had his issues and whatnot. I hope that he comes through this clean and we actually get to see him on the field. Well, he started, he was clearly rattled in the first half, but you have to remember, this kid didn't play football last year. Right. He played college football two years ago. Now all of a sudden he gets in trouble. Now he's in New York at MetLife Stadium playing a game. <laughs> Took him a quarter or two to get to settle down. And once he did, this look at the place. And look at where that throw yep. is where only he can catch it. Well, the passing game looked good, but we do have some work to do on the running game. Now, I was told that the Browns only ran the ball a couple of times the same play. They ran the same play, basically. They ran between the tackles. They didn't use any misdirection. They've got a lot more running plays. They were just trying to get their feet. Don't forget also that the offensive line was makeshift. 
Joel yes. Batoni over at left tackle. Kevin Zeitler, your center, was out. That made a big difference. I know people are concerned with the running game. I was more concerned, Michael, with the penalties. 13 penalties. That's Hugh Jackson's M.O. Every team we've seen him coach right. is always penalized. That's what you got to get cleaned up. I was watching that, um, watching actually having some offensive weapons and decent quarterback play. Do you think that uh, Do you think that Joe Thomas is at home watching this? He's like, I should have waited one more year. I wish he would have. I, I think physically he couldn't do it right. anymore. So yeah. that was the problem. All right, what did you think of the stripless helmets? Can I vote right now? No, please, Let go me ahead. say this, okay? If they're going to play like that, Forget the stripes on the helmets. Yeah. We don't even need them. But wasn't it odd to look at the Browns with the helmets without the stripe? It was, yeah. It, it, I mean, I like I, you get where these motivational things come from. We, I, you know, they're corny to some people, but they're effective on these guys. Some in in some cases, and hopefully this will, you know, maybe it'll really inspire them. I don't think it has anything to do with it personally. I think it's high school. But, yeah. But but. The Browns are trying to build something, and they're using the word family. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to start doing that kind of stuff, that's how teams come together, yeah. folks. In the National Football League, it's so different than the NBA where you only need one or two superstars and your team is great. You really have to come together as a family, and that's what Hugh Jackson's trying to do. And I, But I agree with you. If they uh, keep playing like that, then they can wear those sombreros they used to give you at Chi-Chi's on your birthday if that's what they want to wear on the field. Just please keep scoring touchdowns. Well, don't forget, we're getting new uniforms. Uh -huh. I think I don't. I think it's next year. I think it's the year after. Who cares? Next year. Well, the fans always yeah, talk about the uniforms. All right. From on the field to off, are you expecting to see Josh Gordon this week? I've got a little feeling, folks, that Josh could be coming back. You add Josh Gordon to this team, and I'm assuming that he's not going to be suspended, and that's bad to assume. <laughs> you add Josh Gordon to this team. Now you got Higgins playing out of his mind. I mm -hmm. mean, who is that guy? Right. Uh, you have Callaway. Uh, Jarvis Landry is one of the best receivers in the league. And we haven't Ma seen our running game no, yet. Ma and Michael, all of a sudden, the Browns have, you said it, weapons. weapons. It's crazy. We just got to keep, we honestly just have to keep, um, well, we got to keep Callaway and Josh Gordon out of that quarterback RV that's over at training camp. Do not let them go in there together. I don't know what to do. And so just keep them clean and keep those people on the field because I'm enjoying this. I might have an in for us. Oh, yeah? What's in, that? Into the quarterback Really? RV. We can get in that RV? Maybe. All right. All right. I've, I've got a little insight on that. Maybe the next week's Rizzo show, you'll see Mike and I. <laughs> we should get one of the, We should get RV. our own RV for we, the Fox 8 parking lot. We just right out in the parking uh -huh. lot. Let's, we'll do the show from out there Why next not? week. Speaking of wide receivers, the Browns are still interested in former Cowboys wideout Des Bryant. And Bryant says he will start his visits coming to Cleveland. He also tweeted that he wouldn't mind playing for the Browns. Would he be a good fit? Here's what you get, Michael. Risk, reward. Mm -hmm. Okay? The risk is Des Bryant. If it doesn't go Des Bryant's way, yeah. you get bad Des Bryant. You don't want bad Des Bryant. No, not at all. Bad for the locker room. But if he works out, he's a solid number two or three receiver now. Not the guy he used to be, but the Browns, can you can you have too many good receivers? No. I think that'd be fun. Obviously, what's it hurt to talk to him if he wants to come here? That'd be fantastic. We have money. Do you, do you think it's realistic, though? Do you think he'll Yeah, I, I really do, because okay. he wants a one-year deal. Mm -hmm. He wants a prove-it deal. Right. Baltimore offered him a three-year deal for $20 bucks. He turned him down. He wants a one-year deal. Time's running out. Yeah. So let's see. If he gets another offer here or there, he might wind up somewhere else. But if he comes to the Browns, looks like he's laying the bed so that if he comes here, it's like he wanted to come here all along. And I like the idea of him here on a one-year deal because you know he won't be dogging it. You know he'll try right. and get that contract. I wish so. they were all on one-year deals. Exactly. Right? Yeah, to, that'd be great. prove me deal. It Give me. Be, what's that? Give me Des Bryant on a one-year deal okay. here, though. And, you know. It'll be interesting this week. The Browns' preseason schedule continues Friday night. Home game. You going? Yeah. Oh, we'll be there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tyrod Taylor's old team, the Buffalo Bills. And we should see the Brown starters play a little bit more. All right. Don't go anywhere. Coming up, tribe time. Boy, am I sick of the regular season. I said this to uh, Rick Manning on ESPN Cleveland last week. I feel like this is the NBA. Just give me it's, to the yeah, playoffs. It's pretty exhausting right? at this point. The walk-offs were fun this past week. But, you know, at this point, let's get to the World Series already. Yeah, we're, we're due. <laughs> Isn't it awful? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's bad. I mean, not you guys. Not, no, this is we're you're great. Welcome back to the Rizzo Show. Mike, your Cleveland Indians continue their road trip in Cincinnati starting tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. And we still have over a month and a half of baseball left. 
Okay. Enjoy it. Embrace every pitch. No, no. I, unless I'm winning, winning 20 in a row and getting free windows. Yeah, that's okay? fun. Here's what I need, folks. I need the postseason to start now. It's foregone conclusion. We're going to win our division. Michael, I thought last year the Indians peaked a little too early with that 20-some game win streak. Right. Maybe that won't happen this year. We need to get hot in September. That would be nice. Right? That would be very nice. Heading into October. But they look ready for the postseason right now. They do. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of things that we have to obviously still have come together a little bit. Still trying to figure out that, like, the what's going to happen with this middle relief pitching right now? Because we're moving a lot of parts around. I so, think they'll get it. Well, that's the good news about right. having the time. We have time to try and work those guys right. in and stuff. And, and we have time to get some of these guys uh, a couple of them in minor slumps hopefully it'll just start hitting right at the right time but the, you know the pitching's a big improvement yeah. obviously i thought last year the indians bats went cold at the worst time yeah. folks and somebody needs to stay hot and the somebody is the guy that's been hot all year and it's jose ramirez i need you know where legends are born you know how you win world series Jose Altuve gets red hot and you go through October. Right. That's why Houston's the world champions. I need Jose Ramirez to stay hot during the postseason. The problem always is you face the best pitchers in baseball right. in the postseason. You're not you're not loading up on meatballs right. like he's been getting, you know, during the regular season. But he does not seem to be shook by any of that. That's what's great about that guy. And that and he's also these guys have another year of experience. Is, these are young guys right. who we have been, now been back to the postseason a couple of times. So Hopefully that'll that'll keep them you know that'll Good keep point. them ready. Good you know? point. Right. Been there, done that. Yep. All right. The other guy I think who's got to stay hot is Corey Kluber. Mm -hmm. Remember last year when we needed him most in that game five, he probably was injured and probably boy are we getting a lot of mileage out of that spring training video. Yeah, we sure are. That uh, thing's really he, seen he, some, he, some he, time. He probably. I'm sorry, I just noticed that. But folks, that's our spring training. Right. I know he probably he's uh, 14 and six, 270 RA. Uh, threw 117 pitches in the last start. Didn't look all that sharp. He did look sharp in the start before that. But in order for you to get where you need to go in the postseason, you got to have that one ace guy, the Greg Maddox type, who you know is going to get you a win in every series. Right. And he, and he, honestly, he might be that guy we're talking about who does need, who might get hot at the right time because he's like he, he didn't last year. He was hot going. He got hot too early. Right. And then he kind of cooled off. And it might have been an injury related thing, but hopefully that's what happened. And he's got time because he's got these other great starting pitchers around him. It's not all on his shoulders right, right. now, right. you know. My who is pick, your pick? My personal pick for somebody who's got to get hot would be Andrew Miller. Do you remember? I want 2016 Andrew oh. Miller. I want shut down, oh. scary Andrew Miller. I want Andrew Miller from 2016 where if you saw him coming in. To look Look at the, how happy all his fans are to watch him pitch there. If you, where if Andrew Miller is was coming that, in, was that the second game of the season there was, after the home uh, opener? It was pretty cold that day. <laughs> no, I need the Andrew Miller who came in in 2016, and you could just go get a beer uh, because you knew that he was about to strike out the side, or he's going, oh, he'll take care of this guy. I mean, you remember what a monster he was and what a monster oh, yeah. acquisition he was. He was automatic. He was basically automatic. If we can get him back to that point, what's been one of the biggest weaknesses of, of the team so far? It's that middle relief spot. And hopefully he can bring back that 2016 magic. This, uh, by the way, is the last year of his contract with right. the Indians. He probably won't be resigned. We know Cody Allen isn't coming back because they went and got right. Hand and Simber. By the way, Hand's been pitching very well. Yeah. I think the Indians bullpen is going to work itself out. We'll have to wait and see. All right, before we head to break, Mike, do you like the 2019 All-Star Game logo? Whoa, rock and roll. Where is it? Here it oh, it's getting there. Boom. No. Not so much. Here's the thing. It just feels, it's fine. It's fine. It looks a little dated. Uh, and we just got to get over this guitar thing, Cleveland. Look, it's great. We know we've got the Rock and Roll Hall Wait of Wait a minute, Mike. We're the Rock and Roll capital it's just, of the world. It's the laziest graphic design, you guys. We know that we have guitars here. We know Rock and Roll Cleveland and whatnot. I can't think of an equivalent for another season. I guess it would be like, I, I don't know, like if they had a, if everybody, everything had a lobster that was Boston related. That's all I can think of right now. But like, why do we always have to go to the guitar? Um, the All-Star game, though, is really cool. And yeah, it, it'll be fun. Remember Remember, we're going to have home run derby at Progressive Field. Yeah. I mean, that is a lot of fun. The yeah. game will be played uh, next year, July 9th, and you are in charge of getting us tickets I'm with all it. your connections. No problem. All right. I'll, start, I'll start the wheels in motion. Coming up, uh, we are going to rip on the Warriors, Woo! and I'll tell you why when we return. Do we need a reason? No. Let's just punch Draymond Green right in the face. Sorry, folks. Tom, you always brag, and it's true, but... 
some of my best work. Welcome back to the Rizzo Show. Let's talk some wine and gold and their first preseason game. Boy, I know you're excited. Woo! We'll Cavs preseason October. without LeBron. Oh, wait, LeBron? Yeah, he left. Oh. Uh, October 2nd at Boston. Then they'll play here against the Celtics October 6th. Are you over being Kyrie? Uh, uh, are you over Kyrie being gone? I, I don't care anymore. Do you care about that? Whatever, right? Until I see him in the Eastern Conference Finals playing uh, the 76ers. Yeah, that'll make but, me mad then. Yeah. But for now, that's fine. I can't uh, muster up that kind of rage. And if folks, if you don't think LeBron runs the NBA, uh, his first visit back uh, to the queue will be the week of Thanksgiving, so that Savannah could see her parents and the kids can come to their home in Bath. Well, I think he's earned it. Will you clap or boo LeBron on that night? Well, of course we're clapping for LeBron, everybody. Well, let's keep it together, Cleveland, when he comes here. Can we just All right, how, about, how about this? Let's clap for LeBron when he comes out, thank yeah. him for the championship, yeah. and then we'll boo him every time he touches and the that's ball. Fine. He's a Laker the, now, I agree. Bro. I agree. I but mean, he, I love LeBron, but... But, but we, we don't boo him when he's announced. You're agreed on that. You might? No, no, no. I would not do that. Okay. That's our thank you. There'll be a tribute video. Dan right. will do a nice trap. Yeah. Know? Dan Gilbert and the Cavs will be will passive do a nice aggressive. Tribute. The tribute video. It'll like show a couple of misses, maybe, or something like that. I could see that. It's Dan in the background just nodding. I hope that's what it ends up being. Speaking of basketball, it is time to rip on the Golden State Warriors, which I'm always up for. Mm -hmm. Michael, they are giving away some bobbleheads through the course of the season. And after you look at the upcoming picture, which one doesn't fit here? Hmm. First, there's the Draymond Green. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm sure he'll send one to Tristan. Right. Next up is Steph Curry. That's your guy. Yeah. And then who's that on the end? It's, it, it's Kevin Durant. It's supposed to be. Do, do you feel he's getting slighted? He's wearing a Sharks uniform. Yeah. And it doesn't even look like him. No. I think it's because rumor has it. He could get out of no. Golden State after next year. Oh, I He's see. He's a free agent again. Right. A lot of people think he can go to L.A. and join forces with LeBron. So you think they're taking that out on him uh, through a bad depiction I'm on his saying, bobblehead? He's though. the only hockey guy in that bobblehead. And he did. Thing. He does look. He did look like Kevin Hart as a bobblehead. He really did. He not? From bobbleheads <laughs> to like burgers. actual size. Yeah. yeah. Oh, at, mm -hmm. yeah, had to throw that one in. From bobbleheads to burgers, we need to take a road trip to Arizona. Maybe when we do a spring training next year. Yeah. Uh, this is a $75 burger. Hey. $75. It's five burger patties, five beef hot dogs, 20 slices of American cheese, eight slices of bacon, eight chicken tenders, 12 ounces of fries, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and tanker sauce. That is about it. Eight thousand calories but wait if you eat it in under a minute you get a free cardinals jersey and your pick will be shown on the jumbo and of course you'll live as a legend forever as one of the grossest americans of all time well, why do you think people is that is that that's a, a sad where did claim that gimmick fame. start i don't if know if you eat this entire thing you could folks right. you're just making yourself sick we all pride right. ourselves i've got another place where you can get a great burger and watch a great comedian what? Yeah! Oh, it's, yeah. it's coming up, you guys. Folks, Michael is at the Roxino, 17th and 18th. I'm there Saturday with you. Yeah, you bet you Two are. Two shows. The Browns have a preseason game on the 17th, so you're only going to watch the first couple of series, and yeah. then you come and Just watch wander Michael. my way. All right, we've also got other Roxino news. The Rizzo Show. Whoa! Will be not me playing guitar, I promise you that. <laughs> who are you? The, on, who did they crop you onto there? Is that like is that? a guitarist from Yes? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, we want you to be part of our live studio audience on the 27th. That is a Monday night at the Roxino. Come be a part of the audience. Yeah. Michael and I are going to do the show from there. We're going to be having right. some fun. You with, bet we will. With more Roxino news, here's Alex. Hey there, rock stars. I'm Alex, and this is What's Up at the Roxino. $10 million. We're pumping up the winnings 24 hours a day, seven days a week at Hard Rock Roxino Northfield Park throughout the month of August. It's our biggest promotion with the best prizes ever. Guaranteed free play all day, every day. A chance to win $10,000 cash every day you swipe, win a 2019 Volkswagen Jetta every Saturday, and to top it off, $20,000 in cash will be awarded every Sunday. Come in and enjoy our fresh harvest buffet clam bake. Every buffet Buffet guests will receive a one pound Maine lobster on top of all you can eat clam bake favorites, including steamed clams, mussels, 
seafood pasta, and much more every Friday in August from 4 to 10 p.m. The singer-songwriter with hits such as I'll Be and I Could Not Ask For More will have you wanting more as he is our Velvet Sessions artist on Saturday, August 25th. Don't miss this one-night-only show. Find your rhythm at Hard Rock Roxino Northfield Park, Vegas Experience, Ohio Address. Oh, 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 oh. Folks, do not forget, you know, coming up, run, come on. Stay tuned for our good friends, Big Chuck and Little John. Uh -huh. They are coming up next. All right, we're getting excited. Buy some tickets to Mike's show. Come hang Roxino. out. Roxino, win it. Now it's next week, right? Yes, yeah, it's this coming this week. This coming yeah, week. It's going to be this Friday and Friday Saturday. Friday and Saturday yeah. night. And you're coming on a Saturday. I'm coming Saturday. We're and are you, are you doing your regular shtick? You're just going to have to wait do and I see. Get the, do I get the poop bit? We'll see if you get the poop bit. We'll see if you guys deserve the poop bit. All right? I, I know it sounds it. Fun, fun, weird, folks. It's one of the funniest it's things It's one of I've my ever. more intellectual pieces. Thank you. Good night. Good to be alive. Good night, everybody. Good night.